is so stinking hot out and the cicadias just wanted to say hi. I don't know if you can hear them in the background. Also, there's some construction going across the street and I don't think they're gonna be stopping anytime soon, so just bear with me. I haven't posted a video in quite some time because I was busy moving. As you can see, we are in a new area, but I did wanna do a quick video because I bought some new plants for the new home. Super loud. So I found a new nursery since we moved out here to Wesley Chapel. And for those of you in the area, I'll put the link down below so that you two can visit the nursery. They have a great selection of succulents, which is one of my favorite plants. So I picked up a zebra huarthia. Just a quick tip, anytime you're picking out succulents, I like to pick out specimens that have pups already growing because it's like getting three plants for the price of one as this one has uh, three pups already. I picked up another zebra huarthia and it is super tiny. I absolutely love it. This is probably my favorite. It is called a Graptoviria silver star and the last Echeveria I picked up is an Echeveria porporsorium hybrid. So I'm going to be planting them in this shallow bowl but as you can see there is no drainage so we are gonna make some this is a diamond bit which is good for drilling into ceramic so we're gonna get started on that right now all right so now that we have our hole drilled into our pot it's time to add the soil it's always very important to have well draining soil when working with succulents I also like to add more perlite to my soil mixture to give it extra drainage. And another thing that I actually like to add to my soil is a little bit of bonsai soil. I always like to cover the holes of my pots with a small screen mesh. That way that soil doesn't escape. Time for the soil. Also, I wanted to mention anytime you're picking out succulents and arranging them in a container, you want to make sure that the succulents you pick all require similar care. You definitely don't want to pair succulents together that have different water and sun requirements. Just another quick tip, I like to arrange the succulents in the container before actually planting them. I think that's a pretty good arrangement. All right, let's get potting. We'll start with the Haworthia. Next, the Graptovira Silver Star. Then the Echeveria Porporsorium Hybrid. And last but not least, the teeny tiny Zebra Haworthia. It's such a cute little baby. Pack it good and tight. So just another helpful tip, I like to use a paintbrush to clean up the plants after being potted. Dust off any dirt that's gotten into the leaves. And there you have it. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link down below. And thanks for watching. Bye.